Hello, my name is Tessa and today I'm going to be talking about my conch punch and answering questions that I received on Instagram shortly after I have it done. I have written these down to make this easier. I'm just going to go through them. So the first question is what is a conch punch and it is a dermal or a biopsy punch that has been pushed through the ear just like a needle would be for a regular piercing just to create a larger hole. Does it grow back? It is cartilage being removed. The conch is this part of your ear. And no, it does not grow back once it is removed. So why? It's just for visual purposes, much like wearing shoes you like or doing your hair or getting a piercing. It's just as permanent as a tattoo. What inspired you to do it? So I was scrolling through body modification images somewhere online when I was like 15 and the first time that I came across a photo of a conch punch, I knew immediately for some reason that that's what I wanted and did what I had to do to make it happen three years later. Where did I get it done? I got it done at Pure Body Arts. Who did I get it done by? It was done by Brian Decker. He's a body modification artist for this kind of stuff. He's been doing it for a long time. And were they nice? Yes, he was very nice. My next question is, what is the exact process? I'm gonna answer this not as just the exact process of the procedure, but from start to finish, how I went about this. So how to like go about a conch punch, what's the process? So first I picked my artist, and like I just said, it was Brian Decker. Um, I, I messaged him, I scheduled an appointment, and I made the trip to New York to make it happen. I was looking at pictures online at different sizes so I can kind of get like a, a look at how big I wanted it to be, and like about eight millimeters seemed right for me. So when I got there, he asked me how large I answered, eight millimeters, and then the actual punch process began. So what he did was he put ink, like for dotting things and marking things, he put ink on the back, back of the biopsy punch. He put it against my ear and marked it. He asked me to look at it. I approved the location. I was like, yep, that looks great. Let's do it. It was right where I wanted in the ear. And then he put me in the chair. He disinfected everything. He pasted my hair back with soap and punched it. He kind of just counted down and he put the punch against my ear and then just pushed really hard until everything was removed. The push itself was like one second, it was done like that. So then his next step, because the cartilage is in between two layers of skin, right, and we want this to heal as well as possible, so what he did was he took scissors and he pried the skin away from the cartilage around the circle in my ear. I think that's explaining it pretty well, so that he could remove an extra ring of cartilage and the skin could just pinch nicely around it to promote healing and make it as best as possible. So even though it was an eight millimeter punch, some extra was removed and now it is at a different size. So one of my questions was, did it come out as a circle or a chunk? The answer was yes. And I also want you to be able to see that extra ring of cartilage I'm talking about that is separate from the skin so you can get an idea of what's going on and what I mean by it. So I'm going to put a picture up. This is a warning that it um, might make some people a little queasy. I don't know if you take blood well, but there's going to be blood and removed ear parts. So here's a warning. I hope you enjoyed that. So there's two ways that I've seen conch punches get done. One of which it's the, the punch happens and then it is immediately followed by jewelry and it's usually upsized. And then there's the way that I've had it done, which was the conch was punched and then it was stitched together to heal. So I had the stitching way done, meaning that my answer to this question may be a little different. So how long did it take? It was about one hour for an ear. So if you have two ears and you're doing it this way, it's gonna be about two hours. And a large bit of that was stitching. I'm gonna now put another picture up of the stitching just so you can see what it looked like immediately after it was done to kind of get an idea of why that stitching took so long and why it was an hour. So he stitched it together, then he rolled up gauze through it to collect any extra drainage. As I was walking around for the rest of the day, I may be able to post another picture here. And he gave me healing instructions, which brings me to the question, what was the healing process? What were your instructions? So my instructions for healing were to keep it clean, rinse it with salt water, keep it dry, this one was super important, and to use bacotracin or some sort of antibacterial ointment. And then it brings me to the next question, which was how long until I could get the stitches out. 
and it was two weeks, 12 to 14 days, and then to have them taken out by a medical professional. I did not go to the doctor to receive oral antibiotics for this, however, I feel like if you're having this done, that might be a great idea. If you know that you have a problem healing things usually, or just in general you want to take the precaution, I would recommend it. You can't be too safe about this kind of thing. So I want to talk a little bit more about what the keep it dry section of my healing process was, which was not only to dry it and make sure it gets dried after I wash it, but to put a cap over it basically when I shower. I can post a picture again right here. And there you could see that I had not only put gauze through my ear and cotton pads on the outside, but also used that plastic cap just so when I used a shower, it was in no way getting wet. If you are having this done, I would like to make a note to shower beforehand, not only so you're clean, but because I didn't shower for a couple days afterwards, just my body, I didn't get my hair wet or anything, so that this thing could heal and I just kept my hair out of the way and I kept it dry. Is it crunchy? No, there is no crunch. How long was the healing process? So I already explained that it was about two weeks, as two weeks till I could take the stitches out. However, it was probably a good month before I felt comfortable putting any kind of pressure on it. And to this day, I take my jewelry out to go to sleep and I try to be very careful about sleeping on this ear. Immediately after I got it done, I needed to sleep on that side some because I'm just so uncomfortable at night. So I got a travel pillow on my way to New York. It was pretty awesome because it wasn't like it took a lot away from my sleeping and it made it so it didn't hurt. What will you do with it and will you wear jewelry? Um, these questions were immediately after I got it done so I wasn't wearing jewelry yet. But yes, I wear jewelry in it. I don't wear it when I sleep, I just wear it during the day. I leave it naked a lot. I like to put both tunnels and plugs through it and I know that a lot of people like to put rings in it. I can't wear double flared tunnels unless it's one of the removable flares that's threaded, which you don't find a lot. So for the most part, I have to wear single flare jewelry in it. Will you stretch it? What gauge is it? So I kind of explained how that extra cartilage ring was removed, so even though it was punched at an 8, I now like to wear ideally 9.5 millimeter jewelry in it, and I can use um, lubricant and a taper to stretch it up to put certain double zero 10 millimeter tunnels in it. And I have done that, and it doesn't make a big issue as long as I take it out and keep it clean. My coworker has a conch punch as well, and she stretched hers from a two to a four after it was healed and permanently keeps it there now. So it is possible, it's okay. Just be very careful about stretching cartilage if you're considering doing this because it can make it very upset and irritated and painful. Does it affect your hearing besides wind? No, not at all. I did notice a couple weeks after I got it done, I was standing outside on a windy day and I turned to the left and threw it. I hear like so I can feel the wind through it, but it doesn't affect my hearing or sense of direction. Here's the question that you guys have been waiting for, which was, did it hurt? And the answer, yeah, of course. It's like a ginormous piercing, a thick bee sting is how I could explain it. It didn't feel as disruptive as a tiny needle though. I had this conch pierced in high school and that was a lot more bothersome to have that one tiny little thing than this big one. Healing this was so fast and so easy compared to an actual piercing one because there was nothing in it, um, but two, I think just because it was so much more of an open wound that it wasn't like it was constantly getting stuff stuck in it or I don't know. So yes, it did hurt. Um, healing it didn't hurt as badly as I thought it would. It only really hurt if I smacked it. Anyways, I think this is the end of my questions. If you have any other, please drop them in the comments. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry that I might be boring or tired. I'm about to go to work, but thank you. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. If you're getting this done, I wish you so much luck.